Hey, people, how y'all doing? Um, I wanted to come on quickly and, oh my gosh, and just kind of wallow in um, the privilege to be able to share and show this book um, made by Carla Frizzell for one of my students. Um, I have so much to catch up with you guys about just a lot of stuff in general, so I'll make a video and do that. Probably as I'm showing you my uh, Roxy Creation sewing panel because I have made progress. I'm almost done. I can't believe it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Anyway, Carla um, so volunteers like at least um, every once a year to make me a journal. Um, and I, this is not something that you know she can do for everybody. <laughs> um, and so... Um, I am so grateful to her because these are so special. All all of my student journals are really special. Um, hers are just, I mean, they're just beautiful. Um, we have graduations. I have a robing ceremony coming up. I'm, I'm not done with school quite yet. Um, I have uh, this week and a portion of next week because I tend to stay with my um, college high schooler kids. Um by choice a week later than I would because the college finishes a lot sooner. So anyway, and I wanted to say before I even start opening this, I want to give a shout out to my cousin Kat. Hey girl. <laughs> Guys, she has been all over y'all, all up in y'all's videos, thumbing up, subbing, um, not to everybody by choice. It's her choice, but she's really, really liking um, a lot of you um, and learning so much. Um, she I just started on the junk journal making wagon and um, she is down the rabbit hole. I was telling Carla Frizzell about it and she says, welcome and another one down the rabbit hole. <laughs> So anyway, she's having a lot of fun. Um, she watches, I know she watches, um, I think she watches Rosemary and Susan and she's totally in love with some um, recent, um, a recent book that, and other books that Tamara has made. She watches Carla. Um, I've got on her on board with um, Tahira and she's found some other ladies on her own. Okay. Anyway, so um she you know, just if she asks you a lot of questions on your video, it's because she's a newbie. I know she learned, was really excited about um, the paper outposts, some index cards that she made recently, and she just really loved those. And she has been so inspired by the junk journaling community that she made this gorgeous um, book for me. And I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, she put some really precious things in there. She I gifted her um, one of Val at Val from the Pumpkin Patch. I gifted her because I have so many of Val's journals that she just sent me, and I love them all so much. But I feel so good to share them because my cousin was like, she was like over the top over those journals, and I sent her that gorgeous, very difficult um, uh, journal that Sheila made and it was the one with the roses and she um, did all of that edging up and it wasn't seam a stitched it was um, sort of that rainfall kind of binding and then I sent her my one and only cute tiny little um, happy colorful um, book from journal from uh, Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures and she turned that into because you know both of us well my aunt she lost her mother two years ago and then obviously all of you who you know have followed me for a while know that i lost my mom barely four months ago and um anyway so she took kristen's little journal little green journal and turned it into a memoriam piece for her mom and um, it is so cute and it gave her a chance to kind of practice on wrapping things as a closure closure it gave her a chance to kind of um, put things down on pages and and um, it's, it's just been really fun so to start off to jump start her junk journaling making journey <laughs> um, she sent this book to me I just love it this is a picture um, 
I've shown you guys this picture before a long time ago. That's my old bike. I used to ride. Y'all know I love bicycles. Um, Sophia Zhiyang and Tahira and um, several of you have sent me bikes in Happy Mail. And so this was um, my favorite bike and then all my little succulents and everything. Um, it's just a beautiful journal. And I think she did so well. She did. She's learning about stitching signatures and learning about signatures. Um, but I think she did pretty good. We talked about eyelets. She watched you ladies. Um, well, she saw on Val's journal. She's kind of studying Val's journal and saw um, the eyelet. I think Val, was it Val's journal or I gave her three journals. Um, I forget. It could have been Val's. It was one of you ladies. I think it was. I know she liked a little bell that she had on there. And she also liked um, um, the eyelet, but couldn't figure out, you know, if the eyelet had two sides or if it was just one and how um, you guys use those. And so I'll do a, a flip through of this. Um, well, why not do it now? Let me just show you now. Let's see. I have time. So she put a little closure. So this is where she wants to do eyelets here. I just think it's so cute for her first journal. It's so adorable. Let's see here. When you open it up, she put pictures in here. Look at this. And sunflowers. And I've moved things around because, um, moved things around from the way she had it somewhat because it was just, um, we, we were talking about it and she was explaining different things. And she put this cute little card in here. I love this and her gorgeous handwriting, beautiful handwriting. My cousin and my mom and my niece have the best handwriting I've ever seen. And then she put this teacher card in there. And I love this. She could explain this to you um, herself, but I don't I don't think she did a video on it. She does have a channel um, now and she's just slowly sort of um, becoming acclimated, <laughs> if you will to the whole world and the, the junk journaling universe and then she put a card in here and it has our addresses on it so I wonder if I need to and then I love this quilt oh my god and while I'm showing you this she had her her grandmother has she has the most beautiful handmade quilt feed sack um, it's just gorgeous um, she showed it to me she doesn't live too far away from me um, we'll probably see each other pretty soon um, around Mother's Day maybe if not before um, and but yeah it's just her her grandmother's um, handmade quilt is just beautiful and so she sent me a picture <laughs> she has a lot of, of um, my family old photos that's me and my brother at Christmas dancing I forgot that what you call that dance and then this is me and my mom in my grandmother's house my mama's house that's my brother and me and my mom she was so fine you can't really see it that good on the camera and then this is me being silly as usual green paint on my hand I think I was in junior high this is me and my brother me with rollers in my hair now the ladies are all using sponge rollers to get that bouncy, curly, curly look. I just watched um, Rachel Maxey. I just love her. I think she is so hilarious. Genius, smart, funny, talented, can make anything. She's just really funny. So now when I see curlers, that's who I think of. Look at my brother's afro. <laughs> and then this is me and all my cousins. I was a girl who grew up around a lot of boys. I was a tomboy. I learned how to fight early 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 there's my brother right there and this cousin here is um, teaching aviation and aviation program at one of our high schools this is my brother thinking he's Bruce Lee <laughs> his Bruce Lee shorts and his Bruce Lee stance and that Bruce Lee look and that ooh, that afro good God and this is me and my brother Christmas and my cousin other cousin Christmas there's me with my little curls. There's my brother in his suit, all dapper and stuff. So cute. And this is my beautiful mother. Y'all know her. I've seen her on my videos, have heard her voice. 
This is her looking all round, round, meow. <laughs> I took that picture. Then this is my baby, my daughter. And the, it's so interesting. These hairstyles are back now. A lot of the girls are wearing um, the buns down here and here, but also still on top. And then they're wearing the pieces of hair coming down so that 80s look is kind of coming back. I took that picture a long time ago. So this was a nice, fun, beautiful uh, look back on um, some just some really fun memories um, of childhood. And um, yeah, I um, was so happy to, to get this. It made me happy. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want to show addresses, so if I redacted that, that's why. But it just made me so happy, as I was saying. Um, and then she put some feathers in here and some cute little um, dog images. She knows I love dogs. Ooh, I have two trouble boys right now. And some tickets. And then um, she, let me see here, she would could explain this. I love these. I sent her a lot of ephemera from the brown pair, um, and she found her own ephemera. Guys, she's been thrifting, um, thrifting um, pieces of, of uh, things to put in journals. And she just made a video of a really nice haul she had, she found or um, got. And I love this page too, and this little button she put right there. And then look at the little tie. Isn't that pretty? Little details. She's learning, guys. I love this closure. I mean, this is just so pretty and so um, so junk journal. Dress it up, dangle it with jewelry. <laughs> I just love that. Um, but she found some really good stuff. Um, in some hauls. I love these little flaps here. These are really cute. And she did all of this. This is a no sew book. There's no sewing. And she knows I love food and pizza. So she put a pizza card in there. Oh, wait. Let me see. This is the pizza card. Oh, I don't know if I should show. Oh, she won't mind if I show you guys. This is my cousin here. <laughs> She's so pretty. She's got those green eyes like my husband. And then there, this is sorry to be so cheesy. <laughs> I love that. And then she used a lot of paper I sent her. I sent her a Happy Mail stickers here. And I love the feather for texture. There's one of the popcorn boxes. This is how she did her, her um, signatures in with brads. And she folded the papers in like, um, sort of like Sheila did. And gave me some of her grandmother's um, old stamps. So I'll be using some of those. I think I've taken some out already. I think there was more in there. And I might have taken some out. If I didn't, I will. Because I'm going to use those in some of my journaling. I do have a, a, a video coming up of me um, working in my um, uh, Dolores Sal Salazar's book. I just love that book so much. Um, and have been working a little bit and I haven't had much play time guys because I have been busy 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 oh my goodness um, so she put a little um, butterfly card in there I love that and a sticker and a little map piece there's um, Austin Texas and she's got some owls in there she and my mom both love owls so much um, she loves owls and ladybugs, and this is a cute little owl. <laughs> a little a dangle in there. It's so cute. I love it. Can y'all see it? A little owl in there. So, and then I think, um, let me cover up. Oops. Dropping stuff. Cover up this name part here, because... I don't like to put my whole name in on camera. Most of you know it if you've purchased things for me. And then it says Ma uh, Magical Memories here. And then she has a whole bunch of cards. Fun uh, cards that I'll be using a lot of these in my um, student journals for this um, semester. But they're so cute. I'm going to take some of those out. I kept the teacher one and then she put this um, cross in there. Which is really beautiful. I still have my Abby... Um, Selena's daughter, Abby, um, the cross I got from her, it's really pretty. It's hanging up on my wall right there. 
So very pretty. Y'all know I'm not a religious person at all. I've done my duty as a child in church and as a grown up in church, raised my daughter in church, but I just don't do that stuff no more. Um, and then she clipped this gorgeous, sorry if my camera is rocking. I have it on a, I still have that rigged um, tripod that my husband made me that I've used forever. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I found one of those little clips for really cheap and decided to try that out. Uh, but anyway, so this was also clipped in there. I love this so much and think it's so beautiful. Um, and I'll be using that. Um, it's a bookmarker. And um, my favorite color, green. So pretty. So I left that out. And then on the side over here, just to let y'all know, I got some beautiful, fun, um, handmade envelopes um, from Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. Clive and I love them. I've already used them guys. She sent me so many pretty things. Um, she's in Australia. So I've used them. Uh, I put some of them in my um, student journals because I have some engineer um, aspiring engineers but aren't they cute? Oh I love these so much. I just love Bunny. She's one of those one of my friends on this in this world who has always been so constant, no matter what. She's just been constant, constant, constant. And I love her so much. And I'm working on a happy mailbox for her as well. Um, so I just love these. I think they're so fun. And I've used them in my um, engineering uh, students and those students who actually like math. Oh, my God. My kids are taking my high schoolers. Well, they're getting ready to do finals now. They're taking um, um, co college calculus, pre-calculus, and then some of them are doing uh, college algebra. Some of them are doing, um, oh my God, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. And, and I'm just so proud of them that they get through that because, oh my goodness, it, it looks really a challenge. I'm just so glad they can handle it and do it because that's what they do, you know? So that's my cousin Kat's journal. Thank you, boo. I love you. So I'm going to um, tie this up and just sit it up, keep it on my desk and just look at it and love on it. Um, and then, so let's look at Carlos. Now, guys, I'm sorry. I may not go through this whole journal because y'all have to just go and look around in Carla's shop for things. I just adore her. She is amazing, an amazing journal maker. Um, this this is really pretty. That's a postcard. That's gorgeous. Um, she is an amazing a journal maker, and her journals are made with such quality. I can't even express how a quality made her, her books are. So um, she just says, hello, my sweet friend. Here is your journal for your student. I tried not to overdo it. <laughs> lots of fun things to go through, to go. Lots of fun goodies in here. Feel free to keep whatever you want. Love you much, friend Carla. Carla, thank you. I love you too, mama. Thank you so, so, so much, girl. I love you too, and I'm so grateful. And um, yeah, I've got some some something coming for you. So you just hold tight to what you got, and don't say you don't need to do that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Look, she's put a little chicken on it. So Avery is my student's name, the same name as my niece's um, son. Um, is a little fire. She is something else, and she has been infatuated with cows. For years and years and years and years. She loves um, uh, uh, black and white cows, the milk cows. And I had saved a little tan on that Happy Mail I sent Carla. That was just a little something that she could use to for, for this book if she wanted to. The reason why all that stuff was crunched up and so tiny because I had... Um, hold on, guys. I had, I'm going to have to put you guys on pause because I need to see something. This is the tin I had it all crunched up in. So that's why when Carla got it, everything was all bits and pieces and 
um, tiny so it was in here in this little um, can don't look at my hair guys you can see my hair in there it's terrible it's an afro it's all over the place anyway so that's why those pieces came to her like that so I'm gonna pause you guys and I'll be right back hi guys okay so oh, I started this video I'm um, showing you my cousin cat cat Kathy um, she goes by cat um, I started this video showing her journal and guys it's been almost a week later because life <laughs> it's just crazy Woo, up down yes no over that way over this way over this way over there a little bit turn the corner so I'm down to the wire in terms of opening um, a Carla's beautiful book uh, Carla did not do a um, sorry the camera's wiggly so on that and y'all know my history I have a rigged tripod that my husband made me but I got one of those little lean it over things and so it might be a little jiggly bouncy wiggly because it's on a thing looking over okay we can talk about that later just let me get through this gorgeous beautiful book now I took this from um, one of Carla's um, previous journals from a long time ago and I guys y'all will be so proud of me I have been gifting some of my journals not all of them but some of them so I took that out of a book um, that Carla gifted me a long time ago um, and I'm going to put it in here let me go through this and try to let me just try to get through this this is the hard part when I order journals because and Carla made this for me. This is a gift for one of my students. Can you imagine her her work? Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, okay, how do I get into here? This is the hard part because I don't want to open it, but I need to open it. <laughs> Golly. Um, let me, I, I don't, guys, I'm, I'm really, 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 I'm not going to lie. I don't have a lot of time because I have to gift um, my journals. I've got some from Tahira and Tahira has shown hers on her video. Um, but I, I have to show you how she wrapped them so you can see um, what, how professional and beautiful. So classy, so gorgeous. Um, and I'll give you her um, link to her website. She has her own website. Guys, while I'm opening this, it's so smart to, you know, sell um, on your own platform or somewhere where you can make get the most profit from your hard work because Etsy is so funny. I griped about Etsy, my mother, and I'm a mama, the ma. And I griped about Etsy and I expressed that on my videos and people were like, yeah, but Etsy is still a great place because, you know, oh, and now those same people who were saying that back when, now they're crying about it. They're not crying, but they're bitching about it because it's ridiculous. Okay. I wonder if I can, let's see, Carla, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, woman. Um, this is a blessing. I'm gifting, um, so let me just get through this and I'll catch you guys up on a different video. Cause if y'all know me, if I start talking, I'll never be able to get through this. And I have, I have only have a few hours left before, um, I need to get these, um, into cute bags and, and given to my students. Um, I am unfortunately missing, I have a student who is a computer, he's uh, majoring in um, computer science, so he wants to be a code coder, you know, code, and I had to go online and buy something from someone that I've never met in my life, and I know a lot of y'all, um, and buy something for him, and it's just it's nice it's simple it's just not the same as getting stuff from you guys and I will be um, I think I'm gonna change this guys I don't like the way this is looking or is it okay maybe I should turn this light off hold on I don't like that yellowy look you know what I mean 
Um, I don't like that either. Oh, it's because it's raining in Texas. It's really dark and cloudy and rainy, rainy, rainy. Oh, but I don't like that either. Oh my gosh, girl, Carla, this is amazing. Oh, my student, she's gonna love it. Notice how it just moves right on. Sometimes you just have to move on. Okay. I think I'm going to take this off. So y'all hold on. I'm going to take my camera off and do it my regular way. Hang on. Ooh. Okay, guys. Let's see if this is better. Oh, it's shadowy. Okay. Wait. Let me try the light again. Maybe I can maneuver my light. Sorry, Texas is... We're, we have a lot of... Um, just a lot of crazy weather going on it's nice though I like it actually and I even have to get out in it okay so Carla did not this is made by Carla Frizzell um, Carla E creations on Etsy just google caller uh, Carla Frizzell on uh, YouTube and you can find her channel her journals I'm actually gifting two of her journals one of them I've had for a while and I'm gifting it and she gave it to me to do just that but I am gonna pay an honorarium for this journal and Tahira's journal she made for one of my students um, one of my LGBTQ high school students um, and so I I will pay an honorarium to these wonderful artists beautiful women friends amazing friends of mine and who have stuck with me and hung out with me um regardless of me being me <laughs> um and i i am so grateful um to them so this is what she did this student avery um is just amazing and she is obsessed with cows now i think i left off on my last video all those little bits and pieces that I now when I if I ever in the future gift you guys send you guys something relative to a themed book for a student um, keep what you want the students they don't know <laughs> so when Carla showed a video of all those little tiny bits and little smashed pieces they were in here in this can um, and I think I showed this on the last video before I had to cut it it's an old rusty um, uh, eat chicken uh, can the cows kind of telling us to do that <laughs> um, and so that's why all those little tiny bits on her channel were little and smashed and folded because they were all smashed in there so this is what she did and that woman sends the best just the best um, pieces with her journals it's amazing I can see she's recent some pieces that I give to her, some of this gorgeous red fabric and just little bits, some um, ticking in there. Now, y'all, it's my choice if I want to keep this or do I want to give this to my student with this book? I don't know because, you know, students, they don't know everything about everything. They think they do, but they don't. So I might keep that or I might gift it. I have a few hours to think about it. I'm just saying. And then look at this gorgeous book, uh, um, bag that she's put this in. Or, or the student can put this in. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. That's so beautiful. Just gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, Carla. And she did not show this on her video. Um, so I'm showing it. And I'm not... I don't know if I should show it all to you guys or let you just go over and see her work herself. Her journals are so robust and just, that's my favorite word um, to use for her journals. Look at that. Avery's going to love that. And then look at this gorgeous piece here, the cover with a pen, metal pen, black and white cow. So Avery is all into black and white um milk cows she's not doing veterinary she's doing uh kinesiology and um something with athletic athletes and body movement and body motion and that kind of thing um she's already been accepted into the college that she's going to so these are beautiful pieces here that carla has included i love her work so much 
so many details. And let's see what else has she put in here. Oh, she's got something pinned on there. Hold on. She's got some stuff here, honey. Beautiful pieces. Okay. So these were some cards that I sent. And she's just turned around and stuffed them right back in where they most fit best. <laughs> I love it. Girl, I love it. Love the, hang the dangly. The dangle. Okay, guys, I have to get back into the groove of things because I have a lot to, to catch up with you guys. There's so much going on, just so much. Oh, my God. Ooh, I'm just going to try to work on not being so verbose um, in the future. Look at this pretty tag. Isn't that gorgeous? Made out of a children's book page with a button. Love the pocket here. Oh my goodness, and look at the blue jean and Avery. She's so sassy. Oh my gosh, she is such a sassy girl. This is for one of my private high school kids. So, and then there's, oh, is there something in there too? Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And she can write on there if she chooses to. I'm guys, I'm so sorry for y'all. I'm so still I'm still in awe of our community, junk journaling, the junk journaling community. I'm just still in awe of our little world um, that's not so little anymore that I really get excited still about the little things and especially things um, that are recycled um, and that kind of, you know, just all of it really. And then she's got some kind of leather, looks like here, I don't know. Looks like she's got, I had to make sure, okay, I had a phone call coming in there. And then let's see what she did. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look. I have to, I, I can't show you guys, I can't open the t-shirt, hold on, hold on, Ooh. hold on, okay, this is a t-shirt I got for Avery, I got this at a thrift store, and you can only see the cow, I'm not going to open it, because I washed it, and cleaned it, but it's a cute black and white, uh, black and white cow, um, this way and it's got one of those headbands that tie here <laughs> and there's the nose totally perfect for her her size all of it because she is in love with black and white cows obsessed with them um, and then look here Carlos got that's gonna go with this oh I love this look at that my um, cousin guys she's learning so you guys should go to her channel it's simply cat I'll link it in in this video and um, she's guys she's way in the rabbit hole is all I have to say she is in <laughs> she is in oh my god she's already making journals guys and other things amongst journals but I'll let that's her story to tell not mine I love that um, embellishment, cluster embellishment. Look at this, the pretty colors. This is probably, yep, a pocket. And I have gifted Carla some of this pretty fabric a, a while ago. It might be some, I, get, I know I gifted her some a while ago and then I sent her a little pack to help out with my student. Um, guys, let me show y'all something. I know, I know, I know, I gotta go in a minute. Time is running. To feed the birdies I love you feed the birdies wherever you are I ordered some stuff from her I had to order this journal for one of my students who is all into coding and I hope this helps y'all to kind of you know um, broaden your horizons a little bit the young people they're not interested all the time not all of them but like this student would never be interested in vintage coffee dyed paper that kind of thing so I had to order this very simple book um, for him and there's nothing in it because I'm out of time and and then I ordered these little 
um, old fashioned. I remember these, unfortunately, or maybe I should say fortunately. Um, I remember these kind of cards. Um, and so they're, they're Cody like, and then I ordered some stuff from Feed the Birdies, but I don't know what happened to her. I love her so much. I'm going to, wherever she is, I'm going to continue to support her. Um, but it looks like she, her Etsy shop is closed or whatever. So many people and y'all go, I got my hands up. This hand right here is on my hip. I told y'all, y'all tried to say, Etsy's great. It's great for this. And it's wow for that. And blah, 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 blah. And nobody supported me and said, you're right, girlfriend. Etsy's fees are too high. And, and now y'all asses is crying about it. I told you. Listen sometimes. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Oh, my God. Carla, she is so into makeup. Her and one of my other students. That's, sometimes in class, I have to chide them, you know professionally, academically, but I still let them do it, you know. I try not to mama them too much, but they'll just be talking about makeup and this and that. So this is so beautiful, and this is what she's into, body motion and movement, kinesiology. Carla, this is so perfect, honey. This is just gorgeous. Look at the cow with the chicks. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I know she will too. And I have to say her gift tonight, excuse me, and um, my student Sam, um, his journal made by Tahira. I'm not gonna flip through that because I'll just send you over to Tahira's channel where you can see it. I haven't watched it yet. I'm behind, guys. If I told y'all the whole list of all the stuff that's just going on, y'all would be like, what? When are you going to get back to just being like, time? I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. No, I can't do that no more. <laughs> I got stuff to do. It's too much stuff. Okay, then Carlos put an envelope here made out of and oh so my cousin i'm trying to also you know just sh sort of show things because she is so excited and most of you remember when you first started making junk journals and was exposed to the junk journaling world you were just overwhelmed you know with so much she's been um i think she has um just you know watched everybody i recently recommended randomly Rhonda to her um she's watched um the paper outpost she's watched carla tahira tamara rosemary um uh pink oddbird uh joanna but but some things are you know some things she says is too advanced for her um which is is you know where she's supposed to be and i remind her of that but guys, don't underestimate her. Of all the people in my whole entire family, there are two of the most organized, on-spot people in my family, and it's my cousin and my mama. Organized. Me? Hell no. <laughs> Shit is everywhere. Shit is everywhere. <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh, Carla, I just love it, honey. I love it. And I just showed my, privately, showed my um, cousin the journal that I uh, purchased from you. Oh, girl, she was, it's <clears throat> over the top. It's too much. Oh my God, it's too much. But we're going slow. She's going slow. She's doing her own thing. Look at this gorgeous paper clip with that little heart right there, and this chick, uh, chicken, and the, and the baby chicks, and these butterflies. The little milk tab. I'm so proud, Carla, to to be able to gift this one, and she's young. So, y'all know how I tell y'all stuff. I don't lie, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat. Young people, first of all, y'all need to broaden your horizons a little bit. We're too, 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 too. I think the base of our culture, junk journaling culture, 
Um, and I don't make junk journals. Everybody knows that. I just supply stuff. But everybody, you know, most, most people are suppliers now. But y'all have to get out of constantly in the same genre and kind of do some young. Tahira, it, Tahira has got it going on for, she can do old, vintage, antique, new, modern, um, hip, all of that. And so, and the reason why I say that is because what a beautiful amalgamation and marriage of something that a young person, and when I say young, I'm talking about a 17 year old about ready to go off to college. Um, what a beautiful, um, you know, marriage here of contemporary modern for younger people. Um, because there's a market out there uh, for them and we, you know, just kind of have to, to, to get into it. Love these beautiful fabrics here, this ticking that she's just beautifully put on the edge of that. I like that idea too, Carla. That's beautiful. And then music paper, her flower, her infamous flowers. Oh, this is a flower I gave her. I mean, a, a, a card I gave her in this little cute memo book, Hordes Dairy Man. Oh my God. <laughs> Where did you get that? Oh my God, girl. And I'm going to get out of digitals too. I'm slowly getting out of those as well. Some things, you know, I'll probably keep for, for whatever, but um, digitals for me is just, I sold some more of my wallpaper digitals and one lady was so sweet and she said that they were too light and I've had mixed reviews about them. So I just refunded her money and, you know, sort of invited her to kind of um, get on Photoshop or, you know, maybe check her printer because I've had really good reviews about, about them. Um, but I will say that a lot of my digitals are kind of whitewashed. They're really, really light. And then look at this floating um, pocket. That's what you call that. My cousin Kathy, I, I want to tell her these things. That's a floating pocket, baby. Can you see it? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Carla's got it going on. And this is made out of a file folder, a green file folder that she's sewn. And God knows that woman is so generous with all her, her ephemera. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And look at this. Carla, you have so much stuff, honey. Girl, you got a lot of stuff. Look at this. The dairy farmer, the cows. This is so wonderful. Oh my gosh, my cousin is texting me now. I, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Guys, she's so happy. She just loves it. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, Carla, I'm not going to mess it up. I'm going to put it back in like this. Put it in just back like it was. This is a floating pocket. Cat. So you can see that. And then this is what I'm talking about, honey. Young people young folk clothes shoes boom like that <laughs> appeal to more than just vintage and women we gotta guys y'all gotta get to do but you know y'all know y'all know how i am y'all know how i am and then she oh my god carla you put this card right back in there girl and then this pretty little um, book page, or maybe that's, I forget who um, Carla gets these from, but I love, and I got to show this, um, watching my phone. Boy, guys, I sure do miss my mom um, calling me while I'm enthralled um, into my videos, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm handling it, and I just say that I don't know, just really finding peace that we were together every day, all day, all the time. And um, so, yeah, I'm still working through it. It's it's not easy. And then I love this. Okay, Kat, can you see that, how she did that? Put this little paper, folded it over. So this is one piece of paper folded over. She made a pocket tuck 
and then glued this gorgeous fabric and I think I put some fabric um, washi tape in a happy mail for you my love love the sun and then soups and chatters so pretty and farmer jute farmer June Co love that can you guys see that very modern These little earrings so pretty and then more of this yoga more young fashionable things Carla this is so perfect so perfect and then this was some fabric I sent to her love these guys and then this is one of the fabric pieces I sent her I don't even know if I have more of that fabric or not. I love these paper clips and I don't know if Carla where she um, got those or if she twisted those up and made them herself kinesiology is what my student is into so pretty uh, love this young modern feel beautiful colors wallpaper pretty love that chocolate um, banana chocolate float chocolate milkshake love this oh I like that a lot too she'll like that a lot too they well anyway okay let me keep going I can't I can't stop guys I gotta leave in a few minutes love this okay I gotta stop for my cuz can you see that one cat she's got um, these are probably pieces glued together sorry everybody I'm still talking to y'all too <laughs> I'm sorry um, she's got two pieces glued together music paper um, children's book page and a cluster button here with a tab to pull that in and out which is beautiful if you were to tuck it down into something and then these gorgeous paper clips I love those I got some from Tahira too um, that I use in my some of my stuff that are really pretty um, as well I love these milk caps I'm still guys I'm not completely you know doing away with all my stuff I still have some some fun things too that I'm working with milk caps and all that in my journals I hope to do well we'll see I, I gotta stop saying I'm gonna do this and do that because I, I my schedule is crazy it's gonna be even crazier coming up so in a good way and then look at this okay Kathy can you see this you see how she's got that this is called it's kind of like a bunting shape it's just triangles I think the proper term when you put those together is bunting, I guess. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But then look at this little candy, faux uh, candy fabric. Isn't that darling? Isn't this darling? I've got some. Hold on. These I found at um, a thrift store and they're, um, I don't know what these are guys except for they hold things. So I'm going to put those in there but they're just kind of pop so when you pop it it sort of holds stuff so she might be able to put school supplies because she's already accepted into college. So I picked out this one for her and this one with the little cows. And this one with the little cows in the little barn house. So cute. I'll just stick those in there. And then she loves Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to put that I'm going to stick that right there. Because she is a queen of spades. She's so beautiful. <laughs> thank you Carla. I love you honey. And I thank you and I'm so grateful. And I am going to do an honorarium payment for this. Um, by the way maybe I'm gonna keep these out guys because they're kind of 
Um, do these have metal in them? Let's see. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so I'm going to keep these out. I'll get put those in a separate thing for her. I'll put something in here. This is what... So it's so nice when I have to put something in there. Guys, I have stuff in there in the other room. Okay, anyway, let me keep going. Love this fish. About to swallow that dragonfly. It's the details. So many beautiful details. So many. Oh, it's just so wonderful. The friendly cow all red and white. I love with all my heart. She gives me cream with all her might to eat with apple tart. She wanders lowing here and there, and yet she cannot stray. All in the pleasant open air, the pleasant light of day. And blown by all the winds that pass, and wet with all the showers, she walks among the meadow grass and eats the meadow flowers. Love it. So perfect. Love it from a rainbow carriage. Oh, this is so beautiful. So perfect. Yeah, you know this pop right there of modernness and still with what she loves. Oh, oh my God, look at her. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, this is so beautiful, Carla. I love it. Oh my goodness. And you put, let's see, guys, let's see if she backed that. I don't know, because Carla would be the one to tell you what she did. She must have cut this out of a book and backed that. <clears throat> oh my God, that's so beautiful. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then these pretty blues and accessories and fashion. This is so wonderful, Carla. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, girl. I can't, I won't be able to say it enough. Okay, let me see what she did here. Oh, I know what this is. I'm not gonna, okay, wait, should, let me show you. Cause I gotta show my cousin some of this stuff too. This is a fold over. Look at that. Kathy, can you see that, honey? Can you see it? So she took a file folder, decorated it. Look at that. Look at that detail. Decorated it. Look. <laughs> Look. Oh my God. And then she decorated it here. It's a fold over. Decorated it here. Guys, my video cut off way back here. Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to, because I was trying to show my cousin too how, how you guys do things. She's watching a lot of videos though, believe me. So this one, um, Carla put in as a, as a flip over made out of green file folder. It kind of cut off right after I was doing that. And then I was just admiring this. And I showed you guys the inside of, I was talking about um, this same pattern paper I opened up. Let me do it again. Real quick to show you that paper. See that same paper right there? And that's pattern paper. And this, I was showing my cousin this book made um, for me um, and gifted to me by uh, Tamara. And... I've got in here my dad's ob obit, and then I've added um, my mother's obit right under his, and Tamara's um, journal. So I just want to keep, um, you know, the names and all private and stuff. So yeah, um, it cut off when I was showing you guys that, because I, I saw that pattern paper on there. And I just showed, I, so what I've been doing, let me try to start over, it's always hard when you have to start over. This is um, ideal uh, book paper, and I think I put some of this in my cousin's Happy Meal. But um, I've been showing her private videos of some of y'all's journals just flipping through so she can get ideas. But believe me, that don't compare to how uh, much she is around all over uh, YouTube watching you ladies. 
Um, and so, you know, just kind of keep in mind, I love these little red foxes here. And then this is so pretty, this book page. And look at the baby. He has um, a sunflower on his head. <laughs> the mom must have had one too. And the cow took it and it says, oh no, I love that. I'm not keeping that. And there's this gorgeous modern feel to it because young people, not all of them are, most of them aren't into, you know, the vintage paper and thing. You know, some of them are, but. And then look at this gorgeous fabric. I think this, now I gifted Carla, sent her some fabric, but this must be hers. I can't remember because I don't remember raspberries, but guys, I don't keep track of that. And then this beautiful pocket here that I'll stick something in there before I gift it. Love the fold pocket. Ooh, did that say cheesecake? Okay, cheese coated a uh, halibut sticks. I was trying to say, girl. I got a copy of that recipe down and then this gorgeous picture here. This is so perfect, Carla. Thank you. And I'm going to start doing um, honorariums. I will say I tried my best to get um, Casa, de, Casa de Papel um, to make me a journal for one of my graduating seniors boys and I kind of offered her to send her a bunch of elements and um, ephemera that she might be able to use but I understand some some uh, junk journal makers are just beyond you know and they want to make you know they want to get their um I can't say money's worth but you know they just want to make what they make and sell what they sell and they're not interested in doing um sort of um you know work outside of that and I understand it and respect that but I was trying to get um, I think it's called Tu Casa de Papel or Mi Casa de Papel she makes some beautiful um, gorgeous uh, Mexican styled Hispanic Mexican Mexico style um, digitals and books but I reached out to her so I'm I'm not gonna um, thank you Carla if you girl thank you there, there's Carla's signature right there and I love it and date it. And one of the books I'm gifting tonight, um, this, oh yes, this is one I kept behind. I, I wanted to gift it and then I said, no, I'm going to save it for another student. I do that. And so this one is dated. This student tonight is getting this one and this was gifted um, gifted to me by Carla um, in 2018 and she made this one I think with um, with scrappy bits and pieces but it's so gorgeous and I love it so this one I'm gifting tonight finally I had reserved it for another student but switched off and, and gifted that student um, something else so this one will be gone and thank you Carla I love it um, so I have um, given that helps me out so much, especially when I'm in a crunch. Um, all of my students are precious to me. I love them all. They're wonderful kids. And, you know, um, if I can score and um, get like a book like this or the one that Tahira made um, for my um, high school LGBTQ um, student, um, I'm just all for that. Now, I won't be buying books for a while, guys, and we'll have to talk about why. Um, because, you know, I have some other things, but that doesn't mean that I won't be buying journals as gifts for um, other um, people uh, who, whom I'm close to or just, you know, just books that I want to gift. Um, and look at this gorgeous, big-ass washi tape. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Carla, I'm... <laughs> I don't know if my student will know what to do with these, which is why I always take all the extras, but I'm gonna put some of these in here. I won't keep them all, but I usually do keep a lot of this um, when y'all gift, um, sort of put this with the pack, maybe. I might just leave it. I, you know, I have a lot of students, and by the way, while I'm talking to y'all in, in terms of, hopefully, so I don't have to buy journals from random people um, <laughs> that I don't know um, and the books you know don't really have anything in them I hope y'all start making journals like you know for 
like, you know, young people that major in fashion, major in engineering, um, and biochemistry and major in like, like I needed some journals, um, just books for drawing. I have a lot of students who are artists. Um, I have one um, student who gifted me yesterday. Oh, God, I hope I can get this off of that book. This student gifted me um, this gorgeous picture. It's original. <laughs> He's so cute. And so y'all know about my baby Smokey, whom we had for 13 years. If you've been with me for a while, you know all about Smokey. He was all up in my videos all the time. Um, but she painted this for me and gifted it to me yesterday. And I just love that he's reading a book and his glasses and look at all the books. And there's down the hallway more and more and more books and books and books and books and books and books. And this student listens because I was telling her all about how my husband says, honey, you're a hoarder everywhere. It's just books and books and books and books and books and books and books. And she has two German Shepherds. Um, she's a junior. She's not quite a senior yet. She is an artist. She draws all the time on the board. She'll take off, off, off class time, take those um, dry eraser markers and draw pictures on the board. Um, and she invites her class members, her peers, to come in and she'll leave a prompt to say, please um, write something on the board that you'd like for me to draw and they'll write a prompt and she draws it. It's just amazing. I took pictures of that. And then her beautiful note on the back, um, it says, Dear Professor, in my last name, um, hello and thank you for being our professor for English 1301 and 1302. It's been a great and fun time. We will always remember you and we all love you and appreciate you so much. We wanted to make you something I, she, she, she did it. She says, I wanted to make you something before um, today ended since we won't be able to visit as we usually do throughout the semester. Always live happily and always continue to be you. I hope you never change. See you at graduation, your student, Graciela. And I won't say her last name, but I just think this is the cutest thing and it made me cry. Guys, y'all know don't, it's not easy to make me cry. I love crying. I'm a cry baby. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now, I got to take this tonight, so I got to fill in some things. Um... I'll, I'll, you know, I gotta, I gotta mess with that. Oh, and here's Carla. I think I showed you guys this at the beginning. Oh, and here's my cousin's beautiful note to me today. <laughs> she sent me a happy Mother's Day. I won't show her her private nickname. We call each other, but that was my happy Mother's Day. And she sent me some other things. And then look at her, um, this gorgeous sunflower. I love you, cat. Look at that. Oh my God, she found the hummingbird and the sunflower. Her oldest daughter loves sunflowers too. So that'll be hanging up in my craft room and it comes with this gorgeous little twine. Isn't that beautiful? And my, guys, my mama, um, and she sent me some other really darling things. This is something that she's made. She's working on it, guys. She said to tell you guys, well, she's told you herself. Oh, maybe I won't open that because that's a note in there for me. I haven't opened that yet. So I have to open this later. I haven't opened that yet. My mama loved um, Blue Jays and had them in her backyard. And we'd be sitting and talking, um, you know, throughout her um, her journey through cancer, lung cancer. And... Um, there were a lot of bluebirds, big ones. And I, I think I may have said it before, but I said, Jesus Christ, Mama, what are you feeding those birds? Because I've never seen a bluebird almost as big as a chicken. <laughs> and my mom started laughing. And um, when she wouldn't feed them, they would just come and, and like peck the window. It's so weird and fun and interesting. It was just really strange um, how that was. But anyway, so my cousin has sort of uh, memorialized that for me in her beautiful um, envelope that I have not opened yet. 
And then Carla with this book, and I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, I'm not sorry. Um, she, I think I showed this at the beginning. This is her note, and she's used this old vintage, beautiful paper that I will put in my journal um, and um, sort of highlighted this cute little boy with his um, corn stalk there. And then these um, little children here that I'll use or put or re-gift in Happy Mail. And I love um, her handwriting and will keep that in my, my journal. I have more for my cousin too. So, okay, there's that. Now, because I got to keep moving, guys. I have to leave and I only have a few hours and I have to go. Um, okay, wait, let me pause y'all so I can get to Hera's box. Hold on. Okay. It's just so amazing, guys. I have not fell out of love with our community at all. So look how beautiful um, to hear us. And, and Carla, I have to say thank you. And I will and am and plan to send you and Tahira honorarium payments for those journals. I think I'm going will do that for any journal I order from somebody who volunteers to make a journal for for. Um, a student or you know just you know you know so this is how Tahira's box came I just opened it um, today and because guys I have to gift um, my student journal it's in here now the other journals are for other students I still have a graduation to go to at the end of this month but I wanted to share this with you I'm not going to I think what I'm gonna do is I just don't want to open these. I just don't. They're so beautiful. Um, and so I just wanted to come and show you how this box, how beautifully wrapped um, these journals are that T Tahira has, um, um, I, that I purchased from her and that she, this is Sam's journal that she made for me. Oh my God, Tahira. I think I just, will, I will watch the video. I just don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to open them because when they're wrapped so beautifully, I just want to leave them like they are um, and just give them to the students just like that. Now, I had some things. Maybe I'll put a little package um, with Sam. There were just some little uh, rainbow. Um, hold on. these cute little little pieces that I'll um, put just a couple in there but they just have these cute little animals on the side like a purple cat and so I'll stick some of those in there because these students are very young they're they're 17 years old um, I think Sam is just barely just turned 18 he's excited to vote <laughs> Oh my God, he's excited to vote. And so, but I am missing, um, I'll leave this and I'll say goodbye to you guys. I'm missing journals for students who are nursing majors, um, students who are biochem, students who are coders, um, soft, uh, uh, um, computer engineering, um, students who are, I have a student who is a writer. Uh, my student Graciela is an artist. Um, I have several students who are artists and those are the kinds of books that I need in the future. Um, so I'm just kind of putting that out there because that book that I bought my student, the journal, it's just, you know, it's just full of white paper. It helps, but you know, I feel like terrible gifting these gorgeous books and then I'm giving him this journal. It's not y'all's problem. I'm whining and like blaming you guys, right? Does it sound like I'm doing that? Um, broaden those horizons. <laughs> um, anyway, we just need some more journals that feel young and hip and you know, maybe we can, if you, you're not interested in making that kind of thing, maybe you can do some free workshops and teach um, young people over the summer how to um, junk journal and make younger hip journals um, like, you know, the ones that, that I need. Um, anyway, I'm just grateful and um, I will continue to buy journals when I come back um, and talk to you guys. I will come back and I will 
I haven't opened that yet. Um, I will, what am I showing you guys when I come back? Uh, um, oh, my Roxy Creations panel, the sewing panel. Um, that should be finished. And then I, I'm going to have a book sale, a really cool book sale. Um, the books will be really, 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 really cheap. It'll almost be like, like I said, flea market, Dollar Tree style, but the books are old, 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 old. Okay, guys, I got to say goodbye because I got to go and shower and put on my cute little graduation robing ceremony dress and go have some fun with my babies before they fly off um, into um, the universities um, away from high school and dual credit, dual enrollment um, and start their journeys in September. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope your your days are great. Your crafting days are wonderful. Um, and I appreciate every one of you. Carla, I'm so grateful to you, girl. I can't even say it, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I am so grateful. Um, and then I've got a happy mail coming to Carrie because Carrie helped me. I'm gifting some of her gorgeous journals tonight. I just picked up one of them. I'm gifting, and this helps me so much. So I'm gifting some of these. I'm gifting, um, I gifted one to my cousin. And I'm gifting, um, uh, two to my graduation ceremony on the 30th and then one tonight um, and so I this helps me so much it really does because I guys I, I was almost this close to saying what can I do to that code uh, forward journal to make it more snazzy to make him more like junk journal and surprising and I just I'm not a junk journal maker I will never be a junk journal maker and this never say never I can tell you I never will I just I it's just not in my creative DNA um, to be a junk journal maker so I will continue to buy them and um, I'll do honorarium payments um, but I hope that you guys kind of move a little bit for me and other people who may want to give journals to young younger um, people um, you know make some AI books or some books that are about um, the stuff that young people y'all are mamas y'all got uh, teenagers in your house and grandbabies that are in their teens and about to be teens um, you know find out what's interesting to them and, and make um, some books that I can buy because that coding journal it's really I'm <laughs> Um, I know the camera's running I'm sorry but what I'm trying to say is that this journal is nice for my student this is exactly what he is going to college for and he was one of my top top students um, and it's so unfortunate that this is all I've got um, but you know, maybe, you know, he can fill it in with, I don't know, with, um, ideas. He did write, make his own video game, but I don't know, guys, I just feel terrible that that's, that's what I've got. And it's not y'all's fault. Um, but you know, junk journaling seasoned ladies, can we do some modern stuff for a change? That would be kind of cool. Just one or two modern things. Um, I'd love to see that happen. But anyway. All right, guys. Bye. Love you guys. Talk to you later. <laughs> right? It's a warning. Opening this package will cause extreme happiness. Okay? <laughs> For real.